Step one of being the best chauffeur for your nephew in the entire world, take your job serious. And I take this job really serious. That means it's like 30 feet long then. Yeah, it doesn't even fit. So we've got something awesome going on today. We are taking my nephew Kellen to his junior prom. Oh, God. Boom! I think there's like six of them in their dates. We're gonna be picking them up in the Lamo, taking them to promenade. We're gonna need a step stool. We gotta make sure all the lights work inside. We gotta make sure the battery's charged and we gotta clean it. So we got a big list of things to do before this is ready to go to prom. And yours truly, gonna wear a suit. And we it. need some snacks oh, for them. Oh. We're gonna have to put ice and drinks in all the ice holders. So we're gonna wear a captain's hat? Absolutely, 100%. So Hillbilly's gonna be helping us figure out a little bit of the wiring. I think first thing we're gonna do, let's throw that battery charger on and then we need to get those blue lights to work. And I remember when we were in Moab, Matt was sitting in the seat. Not Matt, Chad's wife. Oh, it was Stacy. No, it was Colt. It was one of our friends. They were cruising in the Lamo with us and they were getting the blue lights on the tables to work. So we're gonna figure out where that short's at. We're gonna make those work because we want this to be as cool as possible for Kellen and all his friends. Tail lights are the only thing that don't work. Yeah, I know, we gotta fix them. After that, everything else works. We gotta put air in the tires because we're running at about 10 pounds. We've got a few things to do, let's get to work. I'm gonna start working on trying to get the seat out so that I can get under it and see where the wiring all comes together. This is gonna be a fun experience for us and for my nephew. It's so, dumb, you barely flash it. And... a lot of stuff in here. With so many wires. Whoa, 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 check that out. Yo, me and Rory already found it. That's how we got to. There's a fuse panel from heck. When they're blown, they're orange or red. Whoa, check that out. Spare heater, solenoid. I wonder if there's a radio on driver feed. So we have, we have the upper wires and we have the upper lights. So Hillbilly, yeah. there's gonna be a couple wires coming to you from these tabletops. You know, I have an even better idea than like making these work. What? Let's just go to Walmart and buy some LEDs and then they'll already work and then we don't have to fix them. Then it's still broken. But we have like an hour to get everything done. Ye a very little faith. We'll work for 30 minutes and if it doesn't work, then we'll do that. We're moving the seat toe. Since it's, it's already half done. There's all our trash. Whoa! <laughs> so these are speaker wires, power supply. Comfort, fan works. I don't know what this is for. I'll bet that's the intercom. Dilemma time. Those lights, they like to come on, but we don't know how. Hey, 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 found a wire. This is bar, upper, neon. Serious? Serious. Okay, and is it unhooked? No. Well, we need to test it to see if it's got power. Guess what I got? I got mail, I got mail, I got mail, hey, hey, hey. Huh? That's pretty cool, actually. That's pretty dang cool. The Billy got wrong star license plate. Now we gotta get something for the Lamo. The say Lamo. I've got to get this fixed. We're running out of time. Um, so I'm gonna fix the pull handle, try to get the radio to work, try to get these lights to work, but we may just have to do those another time. I've got the radio to where it'll actually turn on and I can get some buzzing out of the speakers, but I think we've got a bad stereo. So we may not be rocking out to any tunes on the ride. That's fine. So we're gonna get the air all inflated on the tires. We've got to run to Hermanson's and get a stepping stool so the girls can get in and out, but we're running out of time, so I'm starting to panic a little bit. Always how it goes, always at the last minute, but this is gonna be fun. Taking the Lamo to prom for the first time is gonna be super awesome with my nephew. Time is ticking down on us, so we've got like 10 more minutes until we have to go home and get ready to chauffeur my nephew to prom. I was able to go to Hermanson's, I got a step stool, I'm gonna show you guys that. It's the only way that we're gonna get anybody in and out of this thing. But me and Hillbilly have got this interior pretty well cleaned up. Got a couple spots. So Demery's over at Walmart getting all the road snacks for him. So Robbie didn't have time to come to Walmart, so I'm at Walmart and I am shopping for all the snacks and I found some cool stuff. So our LEDs might not work, but hopefully these ones do. And I got a karaoke machine. So hopefully the karaoke machine works. I'm excited. Who needs steps? There's a chain step that I put on there for a reason. Why do you need this extra one? Let me show you. Imagine me in a dress. Corey, put him in a dress. Okay, see, look, dress, gotta be able to get out. Dress, trying to step on that chain, no worky. Now what we'll do, chauffeur's gonna jump out of the front seat, grab their little stiffy poo, install the step, make sure said step works, 
in, slide, boom, down to the front of the limo. That's the entrance and exit strategy. I think we're ready to rock and roll. You better put the step in the trunk so you don't forget it. I'm gonna put it up front. Where's your wife gonna ride? Dude, it's like a one foot by one foot stool. Check this out. Oh, I like this stool better. It's a lot bigger. Let's look at that. Look at it. Perfect. Get this thing backed out. Let's get it backed out, get it situated, and let's take it to Mantine back. All right, we've got the Lamo backed out as far as we can, and we're in a bit of a pickle. So we've got it all the way to the fence, can't turn it. Hillbilly's grabbing the old trusty skid loader. We're gonna get this bad boy pulled out of here. So we'll just put the fork on the hitch like we got it in when we did the live stream and we'll pull this around and head on our maiden voyage. Good. All right, so we got it maneuvered to where we can back it out. And we, now we've got a person in the inside. Check this out. What you doing? Putting my own LEDs in here. Just putting some LED I, lights in. I got a karaoke machine. <laughs> she even got a karaoke machine, heck yeah. All right, well, we need to take this to Manti and make sure we can even drive it on the highway. All right, so we're gonna run to Manti, but Hillbilly's gonna stay back. That way, if we call him, he can come pick us up. So we, we'll be right back. We're gonna go see if it'll make it. The limo does make some funny noises. We got a bearing, no worries, but I think it'll make it. So that's why we're driving it, to make sure it doesn't come apart. I think we might need some gas. All right, so we made it seven miles to Manti. We're gonna turn around and head back to the shop. So I got a chauffeur's outfit to get in. It made it, that's what we needed. We wanted to make sure that this thing wasn't gonna come apart on the highway. I think we had it going like 90 miles an hour. So that should be plenty fast to get these kids to prom safe. It actually drives really smooth. It just makes a lot of noise, but look at that. Hands off the wheel, pretty dang straight for a lifted Lamo. All right, so as I figured, Lamo made it. Everything's good. We went 14 miles, no issues. Just a lot of rickety rackety sounds from a bearing or something, I don't know but it held together, so that's all that matters. So I'm gonna run and get my chauffeur suit on. I'm not even sure how to wear one of these things. I think it zips up or I'd be in real trouble. To be a proper chauffeur, you must wear proper chauffeur attire. So hat, <laughs> get go there. Oh my God. <laughs> this is what I'm excited for. I think Kellen will like it. Your hat is horrible. If my nephew doesn't love me after this, nothing will make him love me. Are you gonna be able to steer with those? Yeah, how do I look? <laughs> Great. Let's go pick them all up. Step one of being the best chauffeur for your nephew in the entire world, take your job serious. And I take this job really serious. But Demery doesn't take me serious because she says my hat is ridiculous. And she wants me to put on my Robbie Layton Nation hat. Speaking of this hat, you guys can head over to RobbieLayton.com and get yourselves one of these awesome silver camo hats because they're back in stock. And you'll look just as good as I do. Is that better or worse? It's better. Thank you for the chauffeur hat, but it's gonna have to sit right there. In order to take this serious, we gotta be serious. Let's go give him the ride of his life. He's gonna be so pumped. I can see him just cringing already. Here's your step tool. I'll come around and get it. <laughs> Gotta make sure your step is correct. <laughs> Be very careful. You guys might remember Kellen. He got stuck in his truck. I, if I would have went further over here, I would have tipped the truck. So I backed up to here, and I just try to go that way, but... We're taking him to prom now in the limo. All right, let's go. You in? Yeah. All right, I cannot drive with glasses. You guys ready? Oh, yeah. There was a 100% chance I thought we were going. Yeah, that was quite scary. <laughs> it was your nephew. What are they doing? Oh, hey, didn't see you guys there. Hey, 
Everything's holding together as it should. Yeah. Gotta get their steps to them. <laughs> your first ride's free, your ride home is extra. And just keep on coming. And everyone? <laughs> Text me when you're ready. All right, I will. All right, so we just successfully dropped off 14 children at the junior prom. So we'll be back to pick them up after promenade and get them to the actual dance. But everything was a success. Blame Oak did its job and it safely delivered 14 of Sampe County's finest. We're gonna go back get this thing stocked up a little bit so we can actually have some real fun with them. All the treats, all the drinks. All right, so one of the biggest complaints on my first ever chauffeur experience was the fact that they didn't have a stereo in the back. What did I do? While my clients were off at the promenade enjoying themselves, I went over to the old Wally Mart and I picked up a new Sony radio. And I'm gonna go install like a good chauffeur would and I'm gonna have it available so that they can rock and roll all night as soon as I pick them up to take them to the actual prom. All right, so I pulled out the old stereo. It's from 2013. And we got a big old rat's nest of wires and we've got the antenna. So I'm gonna hurry and splice in the new, the new wires. Yes, I'm still in my chauffeur outfit, but I gotta take care of my people. My clients are my life. And the Lamo, if the Lamo is gonna do this, we gotta do it right. So I'm gonna hurry and get this installed and hopefully the stereo works. We got the boss here really making this thing a party mobile. She's making this where it's actually gonna be fun. Getting them all the treats they need. I'm gonna get them the tunes they need. And little Adley, she's helping us out. I'm gonna get this all shoved back up in here and promenade, I just got the word. They're almost ready to be picked up. So we're 15 minutes out. I'm trying my best to hustle. Do you like my tie? This is this is how I install radios. I just wanna let everybody know that here at Lamo's Limo Service, we take it exceptionally serious. We provide the best refreshments on the face of the earth. Okay, we have Pringles, we have Sour Patch Kids, extra, you got that gum, you know, just from Casey's. Uh, we got some Gatorade, you know, we got all that good, good stuff. Uh, we've even got ourselves a karaoke machine. First things first. All right. We got a radio now. We're gonna Bluetooth it, see if we can pick up something good. All right, so I just got the text. Promenade is over, so we gotta get out of here. All right, everybody out. All right, we are on our way to go pick up the kids from the promenade and take them over to prom. We got the radio all hooked up, so they should be able to jam out and have some fun for like the five minutes that are inside, but we take this really serious. Let's go get them. All right, we're here. We're gonna pick up the kids and I'm not giving them white glove service. It's loaded now. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> Dude, he is the <laughs> Yo. Oh, Robbie came in clutch. Oh, 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 we'll listen to the hype. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> yep. You guys ready? Hey, that door flies open at any given moment. So if that door flies open, just stay away from it. Just <laughs> <laughs> One more thing to do. Auto body technician, YouTube guy by day, chauffeur by night. You know, it gets a little exhausting driving the kids everywhere. After a long night of chauffeuring, going to the prom, you're pretty hungry. Is the only drive through big enough that we could fit through? Absolutely, I've taken my tow truck through this. Welcome to McDonald's. I'm starving, it's time to get some food. Okay. And can I add lettuce and mayo? Whoa. We're gonna make it just fine. <laughs> Watch this. All I gotta do is back up once. No good. No good turning. Look at that. <laughs> Hold on. Oh yeah. We're coming in. We're coming in perfect. Is it prom? It was. Yeah. Okay. We just dropped those little kids off. Nice. Here. Oh my gosh. Have a good day. She knew I was a driver. 
<laughs> she didn't even question that. She it didn't even question me. High. Not even at all. <laughs> she didn't even question the height of the Lamo. Oh, they they like it. Zero reaction from the people at McDonald's. People must take lifted limos through the drive-thru all the time. They're just used to it. All right. We got our food. We're going to go get full. That's a wrap for this prom season. As always, we appreciate you. If you enjoyed this video, go check out this one.